five beautiful people to go pink again and we'll come back to another video um i got this little cute thingy on me today because my hair is looking crazy but i'm loving it you know my hair is looking crazy and i wanted to do just one more video with my hair before i unplayed it because i'm so much in love with it but okay that's not the point of this video today so um as you can see from the title of the video today i will be talking about how to handle the pressure in university um the reason why I decided to do this video, oh my gosh, I can barely hear myself because this thing is literally, it's cute, so I'm just, I'm gonna just keep it on me so you guys don't be coming at me for my hair down there, okay? So, um, I decided to do this video because I have a friend of mine, um, uh, who's very much younger than I am. Um, okay, she's not a friend, she's a cousin, very much younger than I am um she was asking me um why am i always complaining about my schoolwork i'm complaining about you know there's just a lot to do i'm doing so much but i'm still handling the pressure very well i'm still getting things done in time how do you do it how do you do it mind you this very young cousin of mine she's very smart she's very smart she's very you know determined she's goal driven and everything and that's why i talk to her most of the time about most of the things because i just feel like i can talk to her about anything not anything because she's young not necessarily everything you know <laughs> you don't want to do that you, you don't want to do that she's a kid okay <laughs> but i do talk to her about stuff like school there's a lot going on you know sometimes I just call her so we can play a game or things like that she's in grade nine this year she's like 14 13 yeah she's 14 i think she's 14 yeah she's 14 she's in grade nine so uh, she was asking me how do you handle the pressure how do you do it oh my gosh i can't wait for varsity i can't wait for varsity so and it was not only her who was asking me the question it was just a couple of people asking me the question so i decided you know what okay let me just do a video and also because my sister said i should because she thinks it's very important for for some people for for the pupils that are still in high school so how do i handle the pressure that is in university we are about handling the pressure adversity we are about to get right into the video just now okay stay tuned don't go anything okay okay let's talk so i didn't write notes because this is this is how I did it. I don't have to write notes because this is how I do things. I'm just going to be telling you guys what I do and how do I do it. So how do I handle the pressure and how can you handle the pressure? Mind you, I'm still a first year. So me being a first year, obviously, I got here thinking the work is going to be too much. And I also thought that I'm, I'm going to be making new friends. I don't know how my friends are going to be. Um, maybe I will get too comfortable. I need to balance things. Um, and also, there's also that thing at the back of my mind that I'm getting away from. Not I'm not getting away. I am away from my parents. And, you know, basically, I'm just misdependent right now. So I could do whatever that I want. I could go out however that I want. But sis, let me tell you. Let me tell you. When you come to university, you're obviously coming here for a reason. You're obviously not coming here to have fun, that kind of fun. But you are here because you want to get a degree. You want to get your honors you want to become a doctor you want to become a lawyer you want to become whatever that you want to do because being here at university is only a time a short time based thing where okay i'm, I'm gonna put it like this you're probably doing your your degree for like four years five years for six years and and that time based period and that, and that period of you doing your degree is nothing compared to the lifetime that you will be living out of school 
where you'll have to be independent, where you'll have to be buying groceries every day for the rest of your life, supporting people. There'll be people who are dependent on you because now you are dependent on, on, on other people, which is why they went to school so that they can be able to support you. Do you understand? I mean, of course, there are some other things that you can do besides or outside of school. But now I'm just going to be talking about handling the pressure that is in university. If you want to do good, if you want to keep on being an A student that you were, but still have um, a life out of school and still be social and still have fun. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say this. Um number one when i got to university and i was scared and i thought the work was going to be too much obviously this is something that is new i've never seen it before what i did was to draw a plan number one you need to draw a plan you need to um list down all the modules that you were doing and see that okay this one this one this one this one this is when i attend classes and this is when i have time for myself this is when i have time to study you need to have a, a plan of how you will be approaching all the modules that you're doing and give enough time to each of them uh, that is fair you understand so you need to have a plan because if you don't have a plan um everything that you do will be a thing of okay i have an assignment that is due or oh there's a test coming up so like i need to study your things are not organized you're just running around like a headless chicken you don't know what you're doing you are never ready for things because you don't have a plan which brings me to my second one which uh, is be organized you need to be as organized as you can be um when it comes to the part of being organized what i do is i put my stuff in my modules category i am doing this module and this is what needs to be done by the end of the semester these are the tasks that will be given by the end of the semester at the end of of this semester this should be done this should be done this should be done and these are the chapters that need to be covered and with the time that i have and first semester i have like six months or so so how will i be dividing all these chapters uh, in in between that time so that i can be ready for my exam okay you have 24 hours in a day that is a lot sis that is a lot listen to me when i tell you that it is a lot you will have plenty of time to sleep i have plenty of time to sleep and i have plenty of time to study and i have plenty of time to hang out in that very same 24 hours that you have that you think it's only five hours and then boom boom the day has ended <laughs> okay so that is number two you need to be organized you need to know um when do i do this when do i not do this and which brings me to number three now is to have discipline discipline is something that is very important and it obviously doesn't just start and then you you disciplined in just one day um what helped me was that in high school i was a very disciplined person and uh, when it's time for school it was time for school when it's time for friends okay i just go out but um you have to set your priorities straight says, okay okay you need to set your priorities straight and um, you need to understand what is more important between you partying hanging out with friends movie nights going swimming and all those things and your schoolwork you need to prioritize your work and once you do that you will instill that thing of discipline in yourself and you just like okay i need to okay i understand that you guys want to go out i understand that it's hard you know we can go out to swim because it's not so far we can just brr, 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 take an uber go there swim have a good day have a nice day have ice creams you know with the girls but i have a test tomorrow you know i have a test tomorrow oh, i have a test in a week's time and this is how i divided the chapters between that time base because i need to get ready by the time and i need to cover this by the end of this time do you understand so you need to have discipline and is it number four am i at number four or i think it is number four number four you need to um you need to what can how, how do i put this one you 
don't weigh your modules by oh this one's simple this one is hard you understand give fair time to each one because me in my first year i obviously didn't know if this was more difficult than this one you obviously do not know if this one okay criminology is more harder and this one is simpler you know what i'm saying you don't know that so i mean don't do that sis uh-uh you don't do that how how do you know kanjani bro you just don't okay you need to um not weigh your modules and say this one it kind of looks hard just give enough time to each of them and respect each of them equally respect each of them equally and if you do that i tell you that when when time comes when if if you like you just weigh them in like okay this one is much simpler okay you're gonna write the hard one that you think is hard and then you leave the other one which you think is simpler or study it less and when when the time comes for you to be uh writing your exams are going to be like oh i never knew this oh i wish i had more time to study this oh i thought this was this was simple it might be simple but you need to give as much time to it just as you give time to the rest of you you understand and that was how i was able like to keep up with my work throughout the entire year and i i I continued to stay as an A student like I was in high school and I stayed like that, you know, it's very much simple to get a distinction. Trust me on that. It's very much simple to get a distinction. You just need to put your mind to it and do all the things that I just told you. Now you need to have discipline. You need to plan your work. You need to be organized okay don't be the kind of person where you have to study you're like oh where are my notes where are my notes where did i put this this book this book what am i reading what is what is i i i don't know i just find it i just find it kind of weird when you're in university from what we were told that in university that's where you become independent there's nobody who will be chasing you around you know what i mean and the person just comes and ask the lecturer, what is the scope for the test? I mean, like, what are you doing? Scope for the test? Why are you asking for the scope of the test? Study everything that we did. Study, you study, don't ever, don't ever, at the time where you have to write, you're like, uh, nagging the lecturer, nagging us. What is the scope of the test? What is the scope? No, you need to be organized, okay? You need to put your things and write orders. You need to get your life together. There is um, always time to for entertainment and all of that. And that's just how I'm handling the pressure so well because I'm organized and already I know most of the things. When they say um, there's a text next week, I don't panic. I don't panic because I started where we we all started in the beginning and I gave myself time, you know, and I went through those things. I went through those things little by little, hour by hour, you know, just giving two hours to my books and sleeping 10 hours because <laughs> I do love my sleep. I sleep for 10 hours. Mm. Sleep for 10 hours, give two hours to my books every day and give the rest of the hours to my girls for movie nights, you know, just going out for ice cream and everything. You know, we do all sorts of things in a day. We play so many games, we play music, we dance all day long, but I still had two hours for my books. It's not a lot, but it's definitely working for me because this is what I do every day, regardless of it's holidays or not holidays or not i just do my books and i'm always ready you know and another thing that you need to do is always be on alert you need to be alert you need to be alert you need to be alert you need to follow up with your work follow up with your work don't do, do not slack do not slack when they say there's a test coming up when they say in in in, in check your emails check your student email check your emails check your blackboard what is going on you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm gonna say blackboard because that's what we're using now for the online learning so I'm, I'm gonna say blackboard check your emails what is new the announcements you need to check them every single day in the morning and before you sleep because you don't want to be passed by things okay you don't want to be finding out 
in the last minute that you have an exam or things like that okay cases do not be doing that obviously that is not that is not everything that you can do to become a straight a student obviously you need to study you need to look at how you study the methods of how you study and i will make a different uh, video a separate video from this one where i will talk about my study methods and how do i get the distinctions and how do i keep them on the line like i do and how do I stay motivated? Oh, which is also another thing that I forgot. You need to find inspiration every day. Find inspiration. Think of something every day that makes you want to get this degree so bad. Think about, oh, I want to help my family. Or oh, I have a little brother that I need to help. He needs to get to school. He needs to blah, 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 blah. You know, and me being the eldest sister, it's like, it's like, you know what? I need to... I, I, I need to get the bag, okay? I just gotta get the bag and help my parents, help my, my little brother because he's counting on me. You know what I'm saying? You know your situation, you know your background, you know what's going on. So just just be doing that and be selfish. Yeah. You need to be selfish when it comes to some things. At some point, you will need to be selfish like when it comes to your friends and, you know, just some other things. Sometimes you need to be selfish and think about, okay, I understand this is what you guys need. We, you guys are saying that we should do, and it's obviously going to make the rest of you happy. But I got to be selfish, and I need to stay and study, or I need to stay and do something like this, you know, because I just got to do it. If they're unhappy with it, okay, it's okay. But they're going to come around, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come around. So you need to be very selfish. You need to be very selfish. Think of yourself all the time. Think of yourself all the time. When it comes to, you know, the pressure at university is not even only about your books. The people that you see on the streets when you wake up and you go outside, girls are looking fine. Girls took showers and they're looking fine. When I tell you about fine, they're looking all good, okay? So the pressure is not only coming from books. The pressure is also coming from when I gotta go to the library or when I gotta go to the store. How do you look? How do I look? And sometimes you just feel like, oh, you see, you see the same person wearing different things all the time. You feel like, oh, I'm always, I'm always wearing the same thing. You know, that's also pretty kind of hard. But I'm also going to do a separate video on that. Because there was a point, there was a point where I had to deal with something like that. And, you know, I had to battle with my thoughts over clothes, my hair, my nails, which are looking like this now. Because <laughs> I don't care anymore. You know, I was able to conquer my fears and I was able to be able, I was able to learn, to learn how to handle the pressure of getting nails every month. Now my nails are just looking like this. And if you have a problem with my nails, comment down below. Leave your address. Okay? Give me your address down below in the comment section. If you want to say something about my nails. And my hair. You understand me. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, that's it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. Do not forget to share it with your friends on your WhatsApp statuses, with your box, with, you know, your everything. Just share the video. And oh my gosh, I love you guys so much for the support. Don't forget to like, to comment down below because it's going to help me. And to subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so that you may be notified every time I post. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Adios.